ghosting oh gosh like why are you ghosting why can't you just be respectful why do men ghost it is a crazy question and it is one that is quite sad that we have to answer in the first place ghosting is when someone ends a romantic relationship by suddenly and without explanation withdrawing from all communication difficult part when you're being ghosted is that you don't know why you just pick up the phone you just text and say I'm not into you. But clearly it isn't as simple as that anymore. With the rise of online dating and texting, ghosting has exploded in popularity. According to studies published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, more than 25% of people have reported being ghosted. Spooky. However he does it, Ghosting hurts. There's a lot of reasons why men decide they want to ghost women. And honestly, I don't really have a whole lot of respect for that because I feel like if you're a grown man, then come to me and tell me as a grown man why you don't want to stay into a relationship. But to just fall off the planet, um, after we've been sharing so much and after we've already gotten so accustomed to each other, I feel like it's a sign of relationship immaturity. It's sad to say, but he finds you very boring. No butterflies. One of the main reasons why men go ghost is because they don't like you enough and don't have the courage to tell you the truth. I think that this is the number one reason why a lot of men just go ghost. Oftentimes, he feels that the connection between the two of you just isn't there. Perhaps there's some incompatibility that he's noticed that you haven't. I find that some women and men get wrapped up in the idea of this exciting new person and that colors their perception of the relationship. If this happens to you and not him, then he's probably seeing red flags that you're missing. You met this guy, he's amazing, you guys seem to get on, everything's going well. You feel like you guys have had quite a few good dates and like everything's going well. You're excited and you're waiting for the relationship to move to the next level, but all of a sudden, poof. And it's okay guys, because some of us can't hold a conversation with another guy. It's not that we're boring, we just kind of get shy around them, we don't really know what to say. Or it might be that he was actually already in a relationship. They are already in a relationship. Girl, he has a girl. That's why he went, he went ghost on you. Yes, they were cheating on their girl, going on a date with you or he was being unfaithful to another partner and then he's met you and so now he's got the whole guilt thing going on so he thinks well i'm just going to ghost her he has a girl or a wife and now it's hitting him like damn it's getting to four and i already slept with this girl but damn i already got a girl he feels like mm, his wifey or his girl is gonna find out so he immediately just blocks you after he smashes just even if he like you like he just feel like he like you but he loves his shorty and that's who he's gonna go back to he's running away is he might be scared so fear of commitment is another reason why a guy may go ghost many men lack the emotional intelligence and guts to be upfront about ending a relationship in this case, he's hoping that you won't confront him and he can simply forget about the whole thing without ever having to actually take any responsibility for his actions. He gets cold feet, he feels like he's being trapped and he can't handle it and he can't express to you because he feels like you're already in too deep. Because maybe he got too close and all of a sudden he got those feels and it wasn't exactly what he thought he uh, thought he was going to get and he doesn't know how to process it or control it. So what he's done is he's taken the easy way out and just cut ties. So another reason why a man may go ghost is because he is not ready to be in a serious relationship, period. He's not sure. But he's actually not ready for the kind of relationship that you're looking for, and he's not ready to take care of a woman like you properly. So he's not up to the task. Maybe he doesn't have all his shit together in life um, yet. Um, maybe he thinks he needs to get other stuff in line in his life before actually starting a relationship with such a high quality woman like you. And so in the end, he just gets scared and he pulls away. Sometimes he knows that he's not done playing the field. And even though he may seem like a good guy, he never cheated on you, the temptation may be too strong for him. And he may say, you know what? She's a good girl and I don't want to hurt her. I'm just going to end it. We all know that modern dating lacks the clearly established boundaries that courtship had in the past. That's why some guys think that if they simply don't break up with you, then they can pick up right where they left off. And the scary thing is, they're often right. Think about it. You go on three dates with someone, you sleep together once. He calls you and says, I don't wanna see you anymore. I don't think we have enough in common. 
You're upset, but you appreciate his honesty and this allows you to move on. But what if he never called you? Not even with you, just period. And he may feel like you're asking too much or asking more from him than he's able to give you. So he may feel kind of, what do you call it? Cornered. He may feel a bit overwhelmed by all of this. He may be like, oh, you're moving too far. You might've came on too strong, a little too fast. You know, maybe sent him some nudes or something and he's not all guys are like that, believe it or not. Oh, they don't all want to see your poo tang. You gave up the cookie way too quick. I know I'm probably contradicting myself because I know in my earlier videos I said, you know, sometimes it's better to just sleep with a guy because you know his true, his true intentions. When you sleep with a guy, it's you know, that's the worst that can happen when you sleep with a guy. So how he acts afterwards is how he feels about you. Many times you make a guy wait six, seven months, we give up the, the we give up the cookie and he just freaking switched through like a whole 180. He just switched completely and then you know what I'm saying, nine times out of ten he goes ghost on you afterwards. He met someone else or maybe he decided to start seeing somebody else or maybe he was seeing somebody else the whole time and that relationship got a bit more serious and he doesn't want to cheat on her with you he doesn't have a girlfriend but he went ghost on you because he likes someone he likes someone else someone else captured his attention and he decided not to tell you because it was probably uncomfortable and he just disappeared Someone else other than you, God's attention, got him feeling like, damn, I really like this other shorty. Let me talk to her because this shorty right here, she gave it up to me quick. She's boring. We got nothing in common. He went over to the next chick, okay? He is selfish. I'm not going to be uh, sugarcoating anything in my videos because it's not how I work. If a man ghosts you after wooing you and dating you or talking to you and courting you and seeing you or maybe even after sleeping with you and then he just disappears without giving you any word of warning and any explanation whatsoever, then that is a selfish behavior. He's only thinking about himself in that instance because if he actually had any regard or respect for you, then he would actually have the decency to at least send you a text to end the relationship or give you a phone call or give you some sort of explanation. Gentlemen, if I am wrong, tell me. Do you know why he suddenly just stopped talking to you? because he was probably the one initiating all the conversations. And then one day he stopped initiating it to see if you would initiate it and you never did. So he just stopped texting you because he felt like you didn't give a shit about him and he moved on. Harsh truth time. In the end, whatever reason he had for ghosting you, it comes down to one thing. He didn't have strong feelings for you. So stop sitting by the phone waiting for him to come to his senses. Instead, Move on and find someone new who is a better match for you.